boost can be activated in one minute. Huh? Can't give me a UMP. I can't shoot sniper. This line right now. This is our line now. We're taking back America. We're taking New. We're taking. Lord, everybody off the street. I give it back. What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing With Skills and today I'm going to be talking about two products that I'm not sponsored by that I believe can help your aim. I bought both of these products on my own from Amazon. They're pretty cheap to pick up but I believe both of these items can help you out. When I first started playing The Division, a game that requires some kind of skill to aim down the sights to kill people, my camera sensitivity was 20%, my aim sensitivity was 35%, and my scope sensitivity was 50%. Now that's really slow for trying to turn around fast when people are shooting you in the back. Now it may help you hit people down range because your crosshairs don't move all over the place, but for me as I got better and better in PvP, I noticed that I was lacking that turnaround speed or lacking that being able to be in gun battles real close range when people push up on you. Now two items that I bought on Amazon actually helped me out a lot. The first one is going to be the silicone cover that you see around this PlayStation 4 controller. When you get one it's going to come in this package and it's going to look just like this. All you do is wrap this around your controller and then it's going to look like this. I have two of them, one for my other controller and then one for this one. So this is what it's going to look like once you wrap around it. And then if you really want to, also in this little package, you're going to get these little covers. These are little thumb covers. They have a little bit of a grip which help your thumbs. But personally, I chose to buy something else instead. Now if you look at this controller, one looks a little bit higher than the other. And that's because on this side I have the control free grips. And on the other side, I don't, but I just pulled it off just so I could show you. This is what they look like. And these come on different sizes, just depending on what type of control freak you wanna buy. Now they're really easy to put on. You just have to snap them on and that's it. They just snap right on. And you can see they're higher than the stock thumbstick. But what I like about it is your thumb placement is really high so you can move around. Just doing this, adding the silicone cover, I went from 20 to 80 camera sensitivity, my aim sensitivity went up to 80, and then my scope sensitivity went up to 100. It took me a little bit to get used to, but once you get used to these, these are a perfect upgrade. I think the control free grips run around $16.99 on Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, that's free shipping. And then these silicone covers, the same exact ones right here. These probably, you can get a two for like $11.99 I think, or one for like $10. So it's better just to buy two of them. For me, my hands after long gaming sessions, they get a little sweaty. So this actually prevents it. So my hands don't slip around. Now, a lot of you guys might see this control in the back. This is a scuff gaming controller. Not everybody has the funds to buy one of these. I was given one of these as a gift to gaming and this is supposed to be the top controller out there right now and it's what they use at all the tournaments. It's probably the number one gaming controller in the world and the reason why is just the smoothment on these joysticks. These joysticks are really stiff so it lets you aim down sight a lot better versus these joysticks, they're kind of wobbly, you see? They just shake and then these joysticks Move like this. What I plan on doing is I'm gonna buy some extra thumbsticks so I can fit these control freaks on because these thumbsticks have like a little curve so the control freaks don't fit on there. So I'm gonna buy the factory thumbsticks that come on the PlayStation 4 controller and then I'm gonna add these $16.99 control freaks. 
Personally, I still use this one more than I use my scuff gaming controller. I'm not used to it. It's just too small in my hands because the silicone cover lets me grip it. On the scuff gaming controller, it has these paddles that I'm not used to. I don't want really to use them. So what I plan on doing is taking them off, putting a grip on so that way I can hold the controller better and that way it fits in my hand a lot better like this one. This is pretty much my number one go-to controller. When this one dies, I go to my scuff gaming controller. I personally like both of them a lot, but this one's gonna cost you quite a bit. This, the silicone cover is gonna cost you around $10. These control free grips are gonna cost you around $16.99. I'll put a link to them in the description box down below. If you guys are looking at something that I believe can help you improve your aim, try this out. Try putting a silicone cover. Maybe the sweat from your hands isn't letting you grip the controller right. Maybe these control free grips will help you out. There are different sizes. Pick the one that fits you. There'll be a link down below. Remember, I am not sponsored by either one of these. I bought both of these products on my own after doing some research and I just want to give you my little secret I run control free grips with a silicone cover and then if this dies I run my scuff controller but definitely pick this up for the price $16.99 and $10.99 you can make your controller feel like it's brand new definitely try these out pick them up if you don't like them I'm pretty sure Amazon will let you return them and that's pretty much it guys this is just my quick tip on how to improve your aim with two accessories let me know if you guys have any questions at all on these grips on the silicone cover and I'll be able to answer those as best as I can. I want to thank you guys again for all the support. Remember if you don't see me at last stand, if you don't see me in skirmish, if you don't see me in the dark zone, it's only a matter of time. Nothing but skills is out.